Hi, I'm Dermot Gavin and welcome to my home in County Wicklow, the Garden of Ireland. It's the first week in May and normally I'd be in London. I'd be possibly creating a garden at Chelsea, starting to dig, starting to lay out a garden and yet I'm digging in my own place and I can't quite believe it. It's a glorious spring and it seems very strange that Chelsea isn't happening this year. What does the Chelsea Flower Show mean to me? It really means everything. It gave me a life, it gave me a livelihood. It gave me a voice, and for those reasons, I really love it. And in my house and in my garden, I'm surrounded by mementos of it. You know, a friend of mine described this as a Chelsea flower show graveyard. It's quite right. That chair I pilfered from one of our gardens at the Chelsea flower show. These swing seats were great fun at Chelsea and they're great fun here now. This was from the Westland Magical Garden in 2012, wasn't it Bowie? Then round here, these seats, I did a garden with Sir Terence Conran, the cafe garden. These were our cafe seats. This Chef Lira Taiwania was in the National Lottery 2004 garden. The whole of the front garden is from the Chelsea Flower Show. Upstairs have two chairs. And there's the National Lottery Bowl. One year at the Chelsea Flower Show, I decided I'd create my own version of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. Seven gardens on top of each other, with a lift going up and a slide coming down. Well, I came back here, I had a look at the house, and all the walls at the back of the house were bland. I knocked them all out, and I built my own multi-tiered garden my garden in the sky. So Chelsea sometimes encourages you to be brave. Possibly my favorite part of the garden is where I come to to hide. It's the potting shed where I take cuttings and sow seeds. And I had this in the British eccentric garden at Chelsea in 2016. Sometimes the ideas that you bring back from Chelsea are relatively simple. This is a very common shrub, Viburnum tinus. It grows to about three metres. All I did was to strip the foliage from these stems and now I have a sculptural parasol. Not every idea I bring back from the Chelsea Flower Show works out for me. I was inspired by the beautiful canals that you see along Main Avenue, and I wanted them in my garden. So I built three of them, but it was far from canals I was raised. I just don't know what to do with them. Far too posh for me. So, what is it about the show that makes it so extraordinary? Well, it's an intoxicating mix. It's where the craft of gardening meets show business. It's adrenaline. It's a place you go to with an idea and a sponsor, and you try to do your very best. For me, it's about creating gardens that are different. And row after row, garden after garden, display after display, there's something different to be seen and everything you see will be the best of its type. It's just quite amazing. I go there because I get to create gardens that are different, that challenge, that make people smile. Sometimes gardens that dance. Nowhere else would let me do it. Over the past 25 years, I've created nine or 10 gardens at the show. Some of them have been very tough. All of them have been exhilarating. And I wouldn't change anything 
I've met great people, I've learnt a lot, and some of the things I've seen, I've brought home with me. Thank you.